Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we're predicting match day two of the European competition. So today, let me tell you guys how this is going to go. So we're going to spend around 20 minutes on the Champions League, then 10 minutes of the Europa League, and 10 minutes of the Comments League. So this should come, should come out to be a 40-minute video, comprehensive preview for these predictions. And yeah, like I said, guys, so remember to leave your predictions in the comments below, guys. And of course, join these predictions as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. And of course... Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Let's get this video up to 20 likes, guys. 20 likes is the like target for today's video. And yeah, without further ado, let's go and get started. So let's start with the first game, which we have here is Salzburg versus Real Sociedad. This is going to be an interesting game. I was really, really impressed with what Real Sociedad did in the derby. They won 3-0 in the Basque derby, by the way. Um, and Kubo obviously had a great time. He did an interesting celebration. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into that uh, because it's... Kind of offensive, I would say, but, you know, it is what it is. And Salzburg are looking good, man. You know, they got a big 2-0 win against Benfica. And they, I think, won over the weekend 4-0. So, it's looking very interesting. This is a very difficult game to call, guys. It's going to be very interesting. I think this will be a low-scoring game. And my issue was, uh, see, the thing with Sociedad is that I think they play good football. I've been really, really impressed with them. It's just that I think their finishing is so bad. You know, and that's why my concern is that that also led because for me that draw against Inter they should have won that game with the amount of chances they created throughout the game they should have won that game so for that alone i think i'm gonna go with the draw but i would if if there is a winner i might edge it to sociedad so i'm gonna say a draw just to keep it safe but i could see sociedad winning this i don't think salzburg's gonna win this to be honest with you so yeah i'm gonna go with the draw Next up, it is Union Berlin versus Braga, guys. A very, very important game for both teams here if they want to qualify from this group. And we saw what Union Berlin did. They put up a great, great performance against Real Madrid and almost came away with that point, a valuable point on the road against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. As for Braga, they put in a very um, very good spirit, spirited performance against Napoli and just their finishing was just off. It's a very tricky one. It's a very tricky one, guys. I think it's a very, very important game for both teams here, guys. And I just feel like Union Berlin, for me, domestically have been awful. They lost, um, I believe they lost over the weekend. And I think for Union Berlin, they're going all in for the Champions League. I think at this point, they don't even care what happens in the league. Because they know this is, this is a life once-in-a-lifetime opportunity playing the Champions League. Who knows we're going to see Union Berlin back in the Champions League for a while now. So... I just think that for me, for Union Berlin, they're going to put their eggs in the Champions League basket. And I think they're going to do it. So I'm going to go with a narrow, narrow win for Union Berlin. I was tempted to go with a draw. But I think Union Berlin will just about win this game very, very narrowly, very defensive. And I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Union Berlin. Guys, this will be a very low-scoring game. I can almost guarantee you with that. Next up, it is Inter versus Real Sociedad. Um, let me move my cursor. Sorry, Inter versus Benfica. My bad. This is going to be an interesting game, guys. Inter are coming into this game with the um, great performance, you know, over Salernitana over the weekend. They won 4-0. Lautaro Martinez is in stellar, stellar form right now at the moment. And Benfica, they just come off of winning the um, the game against Porto, you know. And I just think that for Benfica in particular here, I'm really interested to see how they're going to match up in this game. How they're going to perform in this kind of magnitude of a game. And Benfica is obviously going to miss Antonio Silva. Antonio Silva will not be available for this game. And I just think that for Inter, man, they just have so much quality up front. You know, we have Marcus Thuram and Lautaro Martinez. I feel like this Benfica team is good, but I don't think they're as good. I think we might have overhyped this Benfica team. So I'm going to go with Inter to win this game, but I could see Benfica. I, I think for me, I don't see Benfica winning this game. At best, I can see Benfica's drawing. So I'm going to go with the 2 0 win for Inter. I think Inter will win this game. Quite comfortably speaking. Next up, it is Napoli versus Real Madrid. Guys, I've not been convinced with Napoli. I have not been convinced. Napoli this season have looked very, very off to what they have been. Their standards have been. Rudy Garcia, for me, has been an awful, awful coach for Napoli. And I just don't think Napoli have been as good as we had hoped to be. You know, As for Real Madrid, they have been pretty good this season. They have been in good form right now. And I just think with Real Madrid, they just have a knack of getting results. They just have this knack of getting results, even when they're not playing well. And that's the thing I have. That's the thing with Real Madrid is that they don't have to play well to win. They could just win even when out without playing well. Whereas for Napoli, I feel like for me, I don't think they have that in them. 
Like, I think for them to be, uh, I, I think for them, they have to play well to win. I don't see them replicating that performance they did against Brock. And let's be real, they were very lucky to beat Brock. Like, they shouldn't have, in my opinion, should have been a draw. You know, and I just think that for Real Madrid in particular, they're going to put up a, a good performance, and I think Real Madrid is going to win this game. It's going to be close. I could see Napoli putting in a good fight, but ultimately I think Real Madrid will just have enough finishing in the final third to see them through, and I just think Real Madrid is looking in cruise control. I mean, they, over the weekend, they won 3-0 against um, Girona, and Girona is like one of the best teams in La Liga right now in the current moment. So, you know, and by the way, guys, check out the Top 5 Leagues review. We did a live stream about that. I'll leave a link to below. It will go a bit in more depth in those games. Anyways, though, I'm going to go to Napoli to... Um, I think I'm going to go with Real Madrid just to win this game 2-1. Okay, next up, it is PSV versus Sevilla, guys. Another massive game, guys. Of course, the last time these two teams met against each other in the Europa League, and we know PSV actually won the second leg against them, you know, almost doing the unthinkable after Sevilla won the first leg 3-0. It's a very interesting one, guys. I think PSV for me is a good team. They, we have we have seen what the qualities of this team has, and I think for Sevilla in particular, this team is good, but their attack is so so underwhelming. And I just think that for me, Nizri is that just that guy. And apparently, I believe he's injured right now in the current moment. And we saw what performance they did against Barcelona. They put up a very very good account of themselves. And you know, and honestly, in my opinion, kind of got unlucky. I feel like they. Should have maybe picked up a point in that game. I don't think uh, I don't think we should have won that game. To be honest with you, I think we were kind of lucky to win that game. Oh, no, and so it's gonna be a very interesting one, guys. I'm gonna go actually go with PSV to win this. I think PSV will win this game, guys. I feel like the home field advantage will be significant for them, and I just feel like for me they have enough attack in their final third to win this. Whereas Sevilla, on the other hand, I just feel like their attack is very limited at the moment, and I just don't see where the goals are coming from on a regular basis. So I I think PSV. Will never really win this. I'm going to say they win this. I'll say they win this 2-1. 2-1 is my prediction. We have Lons versus Arsenal, guys. I mean, it's it's looking bad for Lons. Lons is not looking great at the moment. They've been struggling the league on. They did pick up some good wins, though, so they're not in the relegation zone anymore. But still, Lons is not looking great at the moment. Arsenal, on the other hand, is looking great. You know, they just defeated Smash Bournemouth on the weekend. 4-0. Bukayo Saka has been, has been good. And it just went for Arsenal, man. They're just looking so good. Like, I just think that this group is so easy for them that they'll be able to cakewalk this. So, I think the question for Arsenal is how many goals they're going to score. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to win this game. But it's just a matter of how many goals will they score. And that's where I'm kind of not really sure. So, I'm going to say they win this 2-0. I was tempted to even go 3, but I think 3 is a bit much. But they could possibly score 3. I don't see Lons picking up a win here. At best is a draw. At best is a draw, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the two 0 win for Arsenal. Moving on to the last game of Tuesday, guys. We have Copenhagen versus Bayern Munich, guys. The German heavyweights. Can Copenhagen actually manage to get a result against Bayern? We saw what Copenhagen did against Galatasaray. They put up a great, great performance, and they managed to get a draw away in Turkey, a place that is very, very hostile, very, very difficult for visitors. And it's very incredible that they were leading at one point. In fact, they actually almost picked up the three points if Galatasaray didn't do that late comeback. So I think for United, oh, sorry, actually, it's not the last game on Tuesday. It's uh, United Galatasaray, right? You guys know what I mean, like the last group, you know. And I just think for Bayern Munich, man, they're just looking great at the moment, you know. Although, we'll say this, though, they didn't look that great in their draw against RB Leipzig. They looked a bit, kind of, a bit lucky to get a draw in some ways. But I feel like Byron still have enough quality, you know, to win this game. And I think the question for Byron is how many are they going to, how big the win is going to be. That's going to be the bigger question. It's not necessarily where are they going to win, is how many they're going to score, you know. And so, I'm going to say Byron is going to win this, I will say 3 now. I think 3-0 is a fair reflection, and I think Byron will get the job done. Copenhagen, I think, will put up a great spirited performance at home. Defensively, will be solid, d difficult to break down, but ultimately, see, what I think is going to happen is I think Copenhagen will have a solid, like, 20 to 30 minutes, and then Byron will open, Byron will score. And once Byron scores, they're going to open the floodgates, and I think it's going to be over within a span of 10 to 15 minutes. And then Byron will probably ease off and, you know, give the other players opportunities, you know? That's what I feel like is going to happen in this game. I just feel like, for me, Copenhagen cannot maintain 90 minutes against Bayern Munich. You just can't. You just can't. Next up is United versus Galatasaray. A massive game for United. This is 
quite possibly the most significant game on Tuesday. I think this is a game that I'm actually going to be looking, I'm going to try to watch as much as I can, even though I will be during the class. So it's going to be very, very difficult. I'll definitely try to keep up with dates with this game. This is a massive game. You could honestly argue that if United don't win this game, they might be in huge trouble to get grouped. Might be. United hasn't been great. There's been a lot of issues at United right now at the moment. What's going on with their attack? Their attack is looking underwhelming. Rashford's been so underwhelming. Bruno Fernandes, he's been not really been as good as we hoped he would be. Um, obviously, the goals are not looking great. Defensively, these guys look very vulnerable. They're conceding goals for fun. And there's a lot of issues going on you know, at the moment. Their midfield's not really looking great. Amrabat, Casemiro. Like, United's just looking a whole lot. It just looks like a huge mess at the moment. Galatas, on the other hand, have been proving it. Like, they have been an amazing team to watch. Their attack is amazing. But the one concern I have with Galatas is defensively these guys are terrible. And I saw the game against Copenhagen, which the goals they gave away were so, so poor defensively. Like, like I'm like, Galatas, are really? You shouldn't have the... You, you can't be defending like this, you know? And I think it was the second goal. I think the second goal for me was a disgrace. And I just saw over the weekend, Icardi missed a penalty. It was such a, such an awful penalty. So, the question for United is this. They have to win this game. Because if they don't win this game, they're in huge trouble. Because even though Galatasaray said, yes, they draw points against Copenhagen at home. Do, we really ha- do you really feel like United's going to get a result against Galatasaray in Turkey? Because remember, guys. United play Galatasaray in match day five in Turkey. I don't. Th- I'm not sure if United can get a result in that game. You know, especially with the pressure is upon them. So United have to pick up as many points as they can, and this is on one of those three games. You know, so I'm gonna say United wins this game, very scrappy, very very narrow, and I think I'm gonna go with United to win one nil. That is my prediction. I think United will very narrowly win this game. And yeah, anyways, I gotta play my booster for so Tuesday, and I'm gonna play my booster for Copenhagen and Bayern Munich. That's the game I'm gonna play my booster for. Um, and so yeah, next up is Antwerp versus Shakhtar Donetsk, guys. A very interesting one, guys. We've seen what Antwerp has been capable of doing. They proved they put up a good performance against Barcelona for some period of the game. And Shakhtar Donetsk defensively, these guys are awful. A very difficult game to call, call guys, because both teams are not really prolific in front of goal. I would say. Uh, I'm going to play with a draw. I think draw is probably the safe pick here. Maybe Shakhtar might win this game given the quality they have up front and the experience. But I'm going to go with the draw and play it safe. Next up, it is um, Atletico Madrid versus Feyenoord. Atletico Madrid have been incredible in La Liga so far. You know, God, it did a huge comeback against Cadiz earlier today. And I think the, the team has been unbelievable. The team is like looking great at the moment. They're, the team is looking amazing. Fine, on the other hand, have also been amazing. You know, they just dismantled Ajax a uh, few, well, a few days, several days ago, and Santiago Jimenez scored a hat trick as well. So it should be promised to be a good game. I'm, I'm gonna be looking forward to this game. I'll, I think I could watch this game. I'll try to watch this game if I can, and I think for this will be a good, highly entertaining game. I'm gonna go with Atletico to narrowly win this though because they're at home, but I could see Fine or maybe getting a draw from this game. Do I think Feyenoord could even win this game? I think there is a good chance they could win. But I just feel like for me, Atletico is going to win this game. They just have too much quality in front. Although, to be fair, to Atletico Madrid, they did draw away to Lazio. In a game which they should have really, honestly. they You, you should be winning considering how good you were for most of the game. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Atletico to narrowly win this 2-1. We have Porto versus Barcelona, guys. I'll be um I will be on my friend's channel. So you guys can check it out. Um, we'll be doing a preview probably later today at the time of recording this video. And we'll be doing a live stream to preview this game, guys. So Porto Barca Barcelona, guys. A very, very interesting game, guys. Should I get my prediction here? You know what? I'm not going to get my prediction. So you're going to have to wait until uh, my friend does his live stream to see what I predict. Because I'm going to save the prediction for that stream, guys. So please, I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel. Uh, we haven't recorded the video yet, so we'll do it. Well, I think we'll do like a live stream form or something. Um, so I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below for you guys to check out. So yeah, um, we'll predict that at a later time. Then we have Cervantes Vesda versus Young Boys, guys. A very, very interesting game, guys. A very um, a must-win game for both teams here, guys. And I think it's going to be very interesting, guys. Red Star Belgrade, obviously we know what they did last time against Manchester City. They put up a great, great performance. They were leading 1-0 as well. Fantastic, fantastic goal. And young boys, 
they put up a good performance against RB Leipzig. I'm going to go with Cervantes Vezda, though, to win this game because they're at home. Uh, but I think it's going to be very close, though. So, yeah, the popular predictions, guys, it's, it's most popular as a draw, which I could see happening. But I'm going to go Cervantes Vezda to narrowly win this at home. And I think they're going to win this 1-0. And, guys, we know how hostile uh, Serbia is, especially at their home stadium. So, I think that in itself will be a huge advantage for Cervantes Vezda. But it could be a draw. It could be a draw. Ah, oh, this game, man. Um, we have RB Leipzig versus Man City, guys. Not this game, sorry, the, the game afterwards. Um, this is going to be an interesting game, guys. Leipzig over the weekend. Um, they did get a draw against um, Bayern Munich, which is very commendable. And I think for Le Manchester City, man, they're just looking great at the moment. Although they did lose to Wolves earlier today. I mean, not earlier today. Yesterday they lost to Wolves. So, I mean, this is going to be an interesting one, guys. I think I'm going to go with the draw, though. I just feel like, for me, Leipzig is a good team for Man City. And I feel like Man City will be very conservative in this game. And, yeah, I feel like teams are going to cancel each other. I'm going to go with the one all draw. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, next up is Newcastle versus PSG, guys. This is a massive, massive game. And I think this is a game that I will be keeping my... Mo I will try to watch as uh, try to watch as I can. I'll... Definitely watch the Barca game, but I'll try to watch this game as well. This is going to be a huge game, guys. Guys, can Newcastle actually get a result against PSG? Because Newcastle, they look great. You know, they defeated Sheffield United 8-0, but it's Sheffield. You know, and then they defeated, I think it was, um, who they defeated over the weekend. They won 1-0, I believe, over the weekend. Um, sorry, 2-0, I think they won. PSG looked awful and their draw against Clemmer Foot. And I gotta say, Moani is a terrible player. I'm sorry, Kuala Moani is not great. And I'm sorry, this PSG team don't look great. And for me, the issue with PSG is that they're gonna need Mbappe. Mbappe is PSG through and through. Because I'm sorry, with PSG, I cannot rely on Dembele. I cannot rely on Dembele to score the goals. I cannot rely on Moani. It's pretty much Mbappe. So, it's going to be very interesting, guys, because Newcastle is not really a high-scoring team. We know traditionally they're more defensive. They don't, you know, they're very more defensive. But we especially saw against their performance against Milan on the road. So, for Newcastle, man, if they really want to qualify for this group, they need to win this game. And I think this is a game in which if they can win, it will be very, very massive for them. And I'm going to go with, for that alone, I'm going to go with a draw. I feel like a draw is a fair pick here, a very safe pick. Because I'll be honest with you, I'm not really convinced with either team right now at the very moment. So, I think a draw is a fair pick. Next up, it is Dortmund versus Milan. Huge game for Dortmund. I would say if Dortmund don't win this game, it might already be over. Milan, they need to pick up a result here. Especially after drawing away to um, a drawing at home against Newcastle, they need to win this game. I wouldn't even say a draw would be good. A draw would be a decent result for them. But they need to win this game. And Dortmund, for me, defensively, these guys don't look great. These guys don't look great defensively. But the thing is, I think it's going to be difficult for Milan. Because say what you will about Dortmund, how terrible they are, how much bricks they are, and that kind of stuff. Dortmund actually do turn, tend to turn up at home. And Dortmund's actually a pretty good home team. So that's my concern with Milan is that, how will Dortmund do at home? So I'm giving the benefit of the doubt to Dortmund just on their home form alone. Because, guys... I don't really give Dortmund a chance in their away games. Like, if Dortmund really wants to qualify, they have to win their home games. So, I'm going to go with a... I think I'm going to go with the draw. A draw, I'm going to go with. And I'm going to go with a one-all draw. I know I picked... I, I just realized I picked three one-one draws in a row. But I really do believe it's going to be a draw, guys. Then, finally, the last game we have here is Celtic versus Lazio, guys. A huge, huge game, guys. Lazio, man, they have to win this game, especially dropping points at home to Atletico Madrid. Although, albeit, they did come from behind in that game to pick up a point, so that could have that. And obviously, they did, they did lose to Milan over the weekend 2-0. So, I just think that for Lazio in particular, they need to win this. As for Celtic, they put up a good performance against Feyenoord, but once the first goal came in for Feyenoord, it was over. So, Celtic have to be better in front of goal. And I'm going to go with Lazio to comfortably win this game. I'm going to go lots here to win this game. 2-0 on the road. And do I even play my booster, guys? Honestly, yeah. I think I'm going to play my booster for this one, guys. Celtic, lots here, guys. Lots here. You better not let me down. You better not let me down, indeed. So that is the Champions League predictions for you guys. 
we are now going to move to the Europa League, guys, where, which we're not going to spend as much time um, as the Champions League. So we will uh, go through this um, quickly. So we have Rocco versus Stromgras, guys. This is going to be a big game for Rocco. If they want to qualify from this group, they probably need to win this game. So Stromgras, on their hand, they look good. Um, I think they had a good performance um, against, um, what is it called? Sporting, and I just think they were a bit unlucky because Sporting actually managed to turn around the game. So I'm gonna go with for this game, guys. I'm gonna say a draw though because I think Rocco is good at home, and Polish teams are generally pretty good, good at home. So I'll say a draw. Although I could see Strom guys maybe winning this. Sporting versus Atalanta, guys. Huge, huge game. This could possibly decide top spot in the group, guys. I've been really, really convinced with Sporting. I think Sporting is a very good team. They're one of the most underrated teams. The issue I have with Sporting though is that their finishing is off. That's the one thing I have concern with. Atalanta, on the other hand, they're more of a pragmatic team and more of a defense team um, this season than their attack. So I'm going to go with Sporting to narrowly win this one because they're at home, but I could see this one being a draw. So I'm going to go with Sporting to win this. I will say... I'll say 1-0. I'll say 1-0 win for Sporting. Then we have Ares Lamizel versus Rangers, guys. Rangers have just sacked their coach, I believe, earlier today, so that is interesting news to break on that regard um rangers should be winning this game go like ours limazil with all due respect guys i don't think they'll be able to do it but then again though i did underestimate them a lot of the champions league qualifiers so for that i might i might need to apologize and maybe re reduce but i'm gonna go rangers to win i'm think it's gonna be a close game though it won't it won't be as one-sided as people think it will be but i still believe rangers is gonna win so i'm gonna go with rangers to narrowly win this 2-1 on the road that way, Real Betis versus Spar Prague, guys. This will be a big game, guys. Real Betis needs to win this game. And, you know, they got a big win, I think, against Valencia over the weekend. So, I think for Real Betis in particular, they should be able to win this game. And I expect them to win this game. And I'm going to go with them to win this game. I will say they win 3-1. Let's do a bit different. I'm going to go with 3-1 to win this one. Next up is AK Athens versus Ajax, guys. AK Athens put up a great, great performance against Brighton. And that um, Europa League opener. And they beat, I believe, they beat um, Panite the Kainos um, oh, that same weekend as well. So, Ajax Athens, a very underrated team. Ajax, looking on their hand, looking really, really bad at the moment. A lot of, I heard a lot of bad stuff. I heard a lot of sad stuff with Ajax with their goalkeeper situation. So, it's it's looking rough for Ajax. I think I'm going to go with Ajax Athens to win this. I'm going to go with an upset here. The popular prediction, not going for it. But I'm going to go with Ajax. AK Athens to win. And I think they will win this game, guys. I'll say they win this 2 0. Yeah, I'm going to go with 2 0 win. Next up, it is Marseille versus Brighton, guys. A very, very big game, guys, in the Europa League, guys. This is going to be a massive game for Brighton, man. Brighton needs to pick up after losing at home against AK Athens. So will they get their. Will they bounce back here? Marseille, on the other hand, picked up a great, great result against Ajax on the road. This will be an interesting game, though. Interesting game because Marseille lost a thriller against Monaco. So, uh, I'm going to say a draw. But I'm tempted to go with Brighton. I'm going to stick with a draw. I'm going to say a 2 all draw. But I could see Brighton maybe getting a result here. Next up, it is um, TSC versus Olympiacos, guys. TSC put up a great, great performance against West Ham. I think they put up a great, great performance but once again, though, I just don't think TSC have enough quality to outlast 90 minutes. I think they have a quali enough quality to do it for like 60 or maybe 30 minutes. But I don't think they'll be able to get a result against, you know, uh, you know, Olympiacos. And we saw how Olympiacos put up a great game against Freiburg. You know, even though they lost at home narrowly, I think Olympiacos is going to get the job done. And let's be real, they should be. And I think it's going to be close, though. I don't think it'll be as easy as people expect it to be. So I'm going to go with a very narrow 1-0 win on the road. But I think TSC will put up a great performance. Next up is Friday versus West Ham, guys. West Ham have been, you know, great, you know. And I just think that for West Ham in particular, for Freiburg, it's going to be very interesting to see how this one pans out. I'm going to say a draw for now because I do think Freiburg is a good team at home and they put up a good performance. But I could maybe see West Ham getting the job done. But I will play it safe and say a draw. But who knows? It could be a West Ham win. Then we have Hakan versus Korbeck, guys. Um, I mean, I just think that for me, Hakan needs to win this. If Hakan wants to qualify for this group, they need to win this game. And Korbeck, we saw what performance he did against Molde. They deservedly won against them. So, 
I think it's gonna be an interesting game, guys. I'm gonna go with the draw though because I don't really feel like I'm convinced with Hakin, and I just feel like Korbeck is a good team, so I don't think Korbeck will lose. So I'm gonna go with the very. I'm gonna go with the nil nil draw. To be honest with you, I don't think I predicted a single nil nil draw. I'm gonna go with that to be a nil nil draw. Then we have Moles versus Leverkusen, guys. I feel really bad in saying this, but I think Leverkusen will win this big time. Leverkusen is looking amazing right now at the moment. They're looking fantastic. Mold, on the other hand, look is not looking that great. And even though Mold is at home, I still think Leverkusen have enough quality. And this might seem like a really harsh prediction, but I'm going to go with Leverkusen to win this 2-0 against Mold. So, yeah. Then we have Slavia Prague versus Sheriff Tirisopol, guys. I think Slavia Prague is a very good team, and I like what they did. And I think I'm going to go with them to win this game. Sheriff Tirisopol, of course, we know how good they are um, as well. They put up a good performance against Roma. But I'm going to go with Sheriff. I'm going to go with Slavia Prague to win this one. I will say they win this one. I'll say 1-0. I think a very, yeah, I could see a 1-0 win. The Roma versus Servette, man. Roma needs to win this game, guys. Roma have been awful, domestically speaking. But I think they're picking things up. And I think Roma's going to win this game, you know, pretty good. And obviously, Lukaku's been good in form. So I think Roma is going to win this game, guys. And I think they're going to win this, let's say... 2-0? Yeah, I think they'll win this 2-0. Maybe 3-0. You know what? I'm going to go with 3-0 win for Roma. Next up is Mikeba Haipa versus Painaita Kainos. I know I probably butchered that name. Anyways, um, this is going to be a very interesting one, guys. A very interesting one, guys, because we know how good the Greece team is, and they picked up a huge, huge win against Villarreal at home. And I think I'm going to go with a draw. I think Mikeba Haifa put up a good spirited performance against Rons. And it was on the road, though. So we have to keep in mind. So I'm going to go with the draw. But I could see the Greece team winning this one, guys. I would actually give the Greece team a better chance to win this than the Israel team. Then we have Villarreal versus Rennes, guys. Villarreal, uh, not really been like convinced with Villarreal, man. They've been looking really shaky recently, guys. Rennes, on the other hand, have been looking great. Uh, I'm going to probably say a stinky nil-nil draw. But I could see the, I could see Rennes, Rennes picking up the win here. But I'm going to go with the draw, though. And play it safe. They have Toulouse versus LESK, guys. I was not that impressed with LESK, honestly. They didn't look that great. And I think Toulouse put up a great, great performance against Union saying they lost. So, I think I'm going to actually go with them to win this one. Even though they're in the relegation scrap in League 1. So, I will say they win this 2-0. Yeah, I think they win this 2-0. The Liverpool versus Union saying they lost, man. Off a really, really bad. I'm going to go with Liverpool to win. Union saying they lost. Uh, they just don't look. They they just aren't clinical in the final third. That's my issue. So I'm gonna go with Liverpool to win this. I will say they win this three one, which seems to be a common theme for Liverpool. So which one am I gonna play my booster for, guys? I think I'm gonna play my booster for the Leverkusen one. I'm pretty confident with them. Maybe the Roma one as well, but I don't know. If Roma's gonna score all that many goals. So I, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one. I think I'm gonna go with Leverkusen one as my booster. And then finally, moving on to the Conference League, guys. Conference League time. So. Um, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. So, conference league time. So, we have our first game here we have is Astana versus Victoria Pleasant, guys. Um, I'm gonna go with um Victoria Pleasant to get the job done. Although I do think Astana will put up a good game, so I think I'm gonna go with the narrow two one win for Victoria Pleasant. But I think Astana can maybe get a draw. Then we have Besiktas versus Lugano. I'm gonna go Besiktas to win. I think they have enough quality at home. They're Turkish teams, and they got one of the best rosters in the competition, so they should be winning this. I'm gonna go with them to win two 0 Bodo Glenn versus Club Rouge, guys. It's a very, very interesting game. Very difficult game to call, guys. I'm going to play a draw here and say it's safe, but I think Club Rouge might have a better... I will say this. I think Club Rouge have a better chance to win than Bodo Glimt, you know. And I think the fact that it's a, a Norway, the artificial t turf, I think will be difficult for Club Rouge to cope with. So that's why I'm going to go with the draw. Then we have Balkani versus Dynamo Zagreb, guys. I'm pretty confident with this one, guys. I think Dynamo Zagreb is going to win this one. They have too much quality up front, and they should be winning this. So I'm going to go with them to win. And I think I'm going to play my booster as well. Then we have Gen versus Maccabi Tel Aviv. I'm going to go with Gen to win this one. They they should be winning this one with the quality players they have. And I think I'm going to go with the close one, though. I don't think this will be as easy as people think. I bet Gen should be winning. Bresselbeck versus Lorenzisk. Guys, could Bresselbeck actually get a result here, guys? I think they can. I think they can, especially given the fact it's at home. So, I'm going to go with them to get a draw here. Um, But I, maybe Zola Lenisk, man. I don't see them winning. I think winning is a bit crazy, but I think they could get a draw. So, 
And a draw will be a great result. I think they'll be very, very content with the draw. So you know what? I'm going to go with the draw. But I could see maybe Lazura and Lennis winning this one. So I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. Okay, next up it is um, KI Classic versus Lille, guys. Uh, I feel so bad. I think KI Classic is going to be handed a very difficult matchup. I think Lille is going to win this one, guys. Quite comfortably, I'm going to say they win this one 2 0. But I think KI Classic will put up a good performance. So we have Olympia, Lubana versus Slovian Batisable. I am going to go with Slovian Batisable to get a draw on this one. I think I don't, I'm not really that convinced with Slovian Batisable on the road, but generally at home, they're pretty good. So. Yeah, Olympia Lubana to get a point there. They have Spart Spartak Trinava versus Farambachi, guys. Farambachi should be winning this. I mean, with the quality players they have, they should be winning this. And I'm going to go with my... I'm going to play with a nice, hefty score line here. The next one is Norseland versus Ludogrets, guys. This is a huge game. This could possibly determine second place in the group, guys. And Norseland is looking good, guys. So, I'm going to go with the draw. But I think Ludogrets could do something. I think Ludogrets is also a good team. So, it's going to be a tricky one, though. I think Norseland needs to win, though, if they want to qualify. The next up it is um, Aberdeen versus AJK, guys. Could we see an upset in this one? I don't think so. I think Aberdeen will win this one. I will say they win this one 1-0 one um, at home. But, yeah. And then Pog versus Eintracht Frankfurt, guys. Could be to see an upset. We know how good Greece teams are at home. But I think Frankfurt will get the job done just narrowly. Then Kukurachi versus Gank. I'm going to go with... Um, I think Kukurachi will put up a good performance. But, like I said, I just think Gank will have too much firepower in the attack. And I think the quality... Will be enough to see them through so i'm gonna go with a very narrow um i'm gonna go with a one nil win on the road fearing versus a fans virus fearing tina should be winning with the quality players they have especially given the fact that's at home i'm gonna go with fearing tina to win this one i'll say they win this 3-1 at home against uh fans virus anyway aston villa versus zrinski now aston villa cannot underestimate zrinski because of course zrinski did a massive and I mean a massive comeback against AZ Alkmaar. So you have to give them a ton of, ton of props for that. And obviously, Aston Villa lost the first match to Legia Warsaw. So they need to pick up some form. They need to get some revenge. They need to get a win here. And I think they will win this one. I think they're going to win this one close, though. I don't think it's going to be as easy as people think. I'm going to say they win this 2-1. Then AZ Alkmaar versus Legia Warsaw, guys. A huge, huge game, guys. We know how good AZ Alkmaar are at home. They're one of the most successful clubs in the competition. LJ Warsaw, we know how good they are as well. So I'm going to go with AZ Alkmaar to win this one, though, just about because they're at home. And I just feel like for me, they just have too much firepower in the top. So I'm going to go with them to win this one. I will say they win this one 2 0. And my booster, guys, I've already played on Dynamo Zagreb. Although I might. Should I change it? Nah, I don't think I'm going to change it. Although I might change it. So, anyways, I think I'm going to keep it as it is. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys, this comprehensive prediction review, guys. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And remember, guys, the like target for today's stream is 20, not stream, sorry, video is 20 likes, guys. And I think I did a good job previewing. So let me know if I missed any major talking points in the comments below. And yeah, join the links in the description below to um, make your predictions. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description below to my um, Euro, Europe, Europe Top 5 Leagues review where I discussed about how each of the major club did in the Top 5 Leagues uh, for the month of September. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out. Thank you.